antisocial. Being awkward and antisocial are both um, the negative outlooks on what an introvert is like. However, don't let your assumptions about how introverts are tempered get in the way of your definition of a good leader. Introverts are quiet, reserved, and tend to spend a lot of time alone. They prefer solitude rather than the company of others. These qualities of an introvert actually make them better leaders a lot better than you think. In our fast-moving world of loud, extravagant people, displays of emotion, and whirlwinds of broadcasts, the people who make the best leaders are those who don't really seem like it. As an introvert myself, I'd like to change the way how people think and persuade you all that introverts make the best leaders. There are no shortages of introverts in the world. You might even be sitting next to one. And even if you think of yourself as an extrovert, you might have introverted qualities that once you know about can help you become a better leader. There are a lot of differences between introverts and extroverts. By definition, an introvert is a reserved or shy person who enjoys spending time alone. An extrovert is described as being a gregarious and unreserved person. So basically the exact opposite. Super different. Basically, an extrovert is someone who is outgoing. An introvert is someone who is not. Now, in the real world, where people aren't walking around with labels of introvert, extrovert over their head, you can usually tell what a person is by the qualities they display. For example, an extrovert will talk first and think later. In meetings or discussions, the extrovert is the person in the middle of the room, um, running through ideas out loud, or discussing them with others, bouncing ideas back and forth, kind of an outwardly um, leader. Um, extroverted individuals also share lots of information uh, out loud that is personal, such as opinions or um, formulated ideas. Um, all the while, the introvert is the person who thinks first and talks later, once they finish fully processing. The introvert spends time during the meetings writing down ideas or developing new ones while listening to the ideas of others. You would be surprised to find an introvert who overshares um, opinions. However, there's lots of misconceptions about introverts. Some people think they're too quiet, too reserved, too unfriendly. Um, as an introvert myself, I can completely understand these thoughts. How could someone like that lead people to success? Surprisingly, some of our greatest leaders were extremely ext introverted. According to the Huffington Post, Abraham Lincoln was extremely stoic and uh, reserved. He would spend hours um, in his room reading books, writing, um, he was homeschooled. Um, as we all know, Lincoln was one of the greatest presidents the United States has ever had. Another famous introvert who was also a leader is Bill Gates. Gates, who is most well known for founding Microsoft, once said in an interview, if you're clever, you can learn to get the benefits of being an introvert, which might be, say, being willing to go off for a few days and think about tough problems, read everything you can, and push yourself very hard to think out of the edge of that area. These are leaders who have reputations for having introverted qualities. Some of the most successful people in our history were reserved and quiet. Now, let's review some of the qualities of a good leader. Most of us think brave or strong or courageous, uh, maybe devoted, honest, brings people together. All of these are great, yeah, but they also need to have the ability to listen, to develop new ideas, and to make important decisions. Introverts can do this equally good, if not better than extroverts. Consider this. Have you ever met an introvert who doesn't uh, value his or her time alone? This quality is essential to the introvert's ability to separate themselves from the situation to make clear, unbiased decisions. So the time alone um, uh, develops new ideas and strategies from a different perspective than someone who's using other people's ideas. A tricky situation arises, the introverted leader retreats into research and concentration and emerges with a new idea. Not only does this enhance the ideas and development, but it comes from a really concentrated point of view. Um, another way introverts are make good leaders are their ability to listen well. A lot of an introvert's time is spent listening to others. In meetings, conversations, or in discussions, an introvert spends most of their part absorbing the information. According to Nancy Ankowitz, business coach and author of Self-Promotion for Introverts, introverts have the ability to really take in what people are saying, process it, and come back to it in a meaningful way. When ideas are being made or developments are being processed, it's important for leaders to have good listening skills. It makes perfect sense that someone who is used to thinking in a processed way, processing way, would make a sufficient listener. Basically, um, your ideas and thoughts will be thoroughly listened to if you bring them to an introvert.
Being able to process important information and listen better also causes introverts to be really good at um, empathizing with others. This is a really crucial part of forming relationships, which is one of the most important parts about being a good leader. A relationship between individuals is necessary to form bonds that can strengthen organizations and teams and develop new ideas and strengths. Um, research shows that the lack of empathy in leaders is the cause of their failure. According to CIO Magazine, senior executives have observed the lack of emotional links has been the cause of loss of leadership values. Um, so basically, uh, the farther away you get from empathizing and being compassionate, um, the worse of a leader you are. This is all because of the most important interconnections between people and leadership and people who are dependent. It just so happens that introverts are really, really good at relationships. The most interesting thing about people is their ability to use their qualities to their advantage. No matter who you are or what kind of person you are, your qualities can help you advance in the world. Introverts are examples of that kind of capability. It may not seem like when you first meet them or if you compare them to extroverts, um, but what introverts lack in expression, they make up for in their impressive qualities. Being able to process thoughts, develop new ideas, and form relationships all make uh, the introverted person the best leader there is. So when you're trying to lead, uh, influence others or lead others to success, uh, take a page out of the introvert's book. Um, listen properly, think before you speak, take time to make important decisions, and most importantly, work on relationships in order to create bonds within your life. No matter who you are, it's important to know that using, these, using their qualities makes you important to those around you. By using what you are given to benefit you, you are choosing to influence others in the most important way possible, by being yourself.